any roadblock or a bottleneck at any one of these uh, stages causes a, a efficiency issue because in a serial process your overall efficiency is as good as your slowest step now coming to the pharma industry did we get enough time to prepare for this lockdown and the consequences no because the announcement came suddenly on 24th midnight and we in the pharma industry are a serial process industry start with the raw material packaging material go on to the manufacturing warehouse down to the depots stockers and the chemists so any roadblock or a bottleneck at any one of these uh, stages causes a, a efficiency issue because in a serial process your overall efficiency is as good as your slowest step now what happened when demonetization and gst came in there was an overhauling of the overall supply chain and the inventory levels of the pharma industry earlier there used to be good inventory close to 20 30 days at the stockist level close to 15 days at the retail level the overall uh, inventory levels from more than 30 to 40 days has come down to 20 days and therefore the the chances of errors or inefficiency in the supply chain has minimized after the demonetization and the gst impact and now came this lockdown with no notice and suddenly there's no transportation the manufacturing though under essential services was subdued because the workers could not reach your manufacturing place raw materials could not reach essential services were open but the non essential supply services which eventually opened initially 10 to 15 days was a problem so in the first 2 to 3 weeks there has been a bottlenecking of uh, supply chain also at the manufacturing level but more at the transportation level hopefully from yesterday 20th when a, a more relaxed kind of environment is there the drivers and the trucks would be on the road the manufactured goods from the factories would reach the end point last mile uh points of the stockers and the retailers and hopefully we would see a much better situation in pharma i'd like to segregate the segments of chronic versus acute i think dr marjan raised that point see the acute uh, industry uh, the chronic industry let's go to that uh, you talk of cardiovascular diabetes neuro nephro and and the like you know where the patient has to take medicine for life long that actually be has been a panic purchase in the month of march and and there's there's been a spike in the growth of that uh, sub segment of chronic which is actually an artificial and false spike in acute therapy because the patients have not reached the opds or the clinics of doctors that has been a dip so the impact of the growth the negative impact probably will get seen in april and may whereas the chronic segment will continue because those are the repurchases the new chronic uh, patients may not get added but the old uh, patients will continue to buy their medication so i thought that clarification was important